Yeah, beautiful. We in. Mama, wow. This is a really good deal. I'm getting this transfer okay done. Hum. It's been a week already. Where's my tablet? How what? Hum. 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 Oh, are you sure? Did you check the seller's track record? Did you ask for his contact number? Did you verify that our goods have really been shipped? There have been many cases of online scams. But the prices of advertised goods are too good to be true. The seller then asked for additional payments, but the goods never arrived. Let's be diligent and do our checks first, to make sure that this is not a scam. Don't fall for online purchase scams. Yeah. And, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you a story. My story. Uh, in the previous years, in the past years, I uh, was a, a victim. A victim of scam, scamming, you know, uh, online scams. Uh, I had this interest of learning how to do online jobs. And, you know, in the search, green, head, green in the head, uh, just went to these sites and found a lot of juicy and good-looking stuff. People promising me he heaven on earth. And, you know, uh, yeah, I sent the money a few. It went. Uh, there's this time uh, during early before COVID, I had this interest of learning how to do online trading. So, yeah, I thought it's a good thing. I saw how people are. Uh, showcasing their expensive lifestyle. And they say trading. Yeah, trading, yeah, Forex. Okay. So there's this guy that I won't mention on this because it's not his episode. Uh, maybe later. And so he promised to teach me how to do online trading, Forex, in that case. And so he offered that for a few dollars. I sent him my money, my hard earned money. Remember, I was from the village. I know nothing, but you know, I was just curious to see how I can make money, right? I sent the money and after that, the connection was cut. He disappeared in thin air. I lost the, connect, the contacts to him. I was blocked everywhere, you know. Uh, you know, after like three months, I realized it's all gone. I'm conned. Then that's the point where I went ahead, tried to see um, the reviews, the bio about this person. I found a lot, a lot of complaints about this person that he has calmed a lot, a lot of people in this field. That is the point I realized, man, I'm scammed. So I believe that maybe you or one of your family members have been, they've been victims of these people, these scammers, these online scammers. These people are taking advantage of our hard earned money or maybe by twisting our emotions, maybe making us just give them free money, or maybe promising us a product or service or, and fail to deliver. They take our hard man, hard earned money. And so when I just looked at what Chris is doing and uh, Christmas list, I'm talking about him, and what, when he launched his GoFund go fund me uh, recently, you know, I had to go back and check his track record or this stuff and a lot a lot of scam a lot of scamming activities and scamming claims i just wrapped around his neck like necklaces like i don't know how to call them and now i thought if this gentleman is really doing a right thing then there's something else that is hidden at the back of the uh, curtain then i tell you what i have a bunch of stuff that we're gonna look at and trust you me, I have to crown him like the biggest scam of the season. Yes, I said that. Christopher Hughes, Christmas list. If he is not really a scammer, then he was. I don't know. But trust you me, there's a lot that is a 
have been going on, maybe are still going on right now, that may leave you shocked. So, you know the drill. Welcome so much. My name is JT. This is JT Podcast. If you are new here, consider subscribing, like the live stream as you join. Tell me where you're watching from. What is the time there? Welcome so much. Yeah, so um, in this episode, I'm going to cover some of the receipts that in one or the other, they prove that Christmas list or Christopher Hughes, this Canadian Canadian YouTuber that is currently stuck in Trinidad and I have a case on his neck right now. Uh, we're going to talk about the few stuff that proves that this gentleman is a scammer or maybe what he was running. Uh, has scammed a lot of people and you know sometimes when some people like me make reactions and make, make videos talking about this person is a scammer or maybe this person is a bad person uh, they will quickly go there and respond and say hey you know these lazy young people or maybe reactors they are chasing views okay but what about these people who are complaining that they have been scammed their hard money have been taken and they never received what they ordered, maybe uh, what they expected. What about them? Are they lazy too, lazy gangs? The answer is no. So, Chris, so I'm gonna make this like uh, in three, like, uh, three categories. Uh, the categories that are involving this Christmas list, scamming activities and scams that we're gonna see in this episode. Right, so the first one would be uh, the, Nuts, the Nuts World, that is Christmas List Foundation that he founded, uh, the website that offers um, services and products and all that. And he runs that up to date, I believe. And a lot of people have come out to claim that they have been scammed on this website called The Nuts World, a Nuts World the Christmas List Foundation that is run by Chris himself, like the CEO and the uh, founder, together with his wife, right? So they run this website called Nuts World, and this has scammed a bunch of people, right? And we're gonna see a lot, another one mm, uh, called Just For Kicks. This is a fashion brand, Just For Kicks, a fashion brand that deals with you know, clothing, yeah, fashion, like a clothing line online. And this has come to a lot of other people and people that are coming out to claim that they have been scammed by Chris and the company. All right. And the last one will be uh, the donations. Donations, they seem to be donations, just like uh, you can say, hey, uh, my, my parents sick, my mama is sick, I stuck in the hospital, I need some help, you know and you launch something like a, a pay bill or maybe uh, yeah, like a GoFundMe that's publicly known. And so people can donate goodwill, yeah, can donate to, uh, to help you maybe pay the hospital expenses for that person. So uh, some of people like Chris, they use this uh, stuff like the, how they call it, the donations channels, the funds channel, uh, to exploit people and get a lot, a lot of money that they did not actually uh, intend to to do what they uh, say in that maybe in that uh, plea. Like when they make plea, like hey, we need to donate. Uh, we mean we need to raise a hundred thousand US dollars to help uh, you know feed this kind of village. And after that, they get that a hundred thousand dollars. They take a portion of that, like a uh, one uh, percent of it throw a few stuff here on camera and show people, hey, people, you know, you can see people are feeding now, they are changing their life, and they keep 99% of that and disappear to the thin air. So this is another scam that is have been digitalized and maybe formalized in a way, and it's brought out uh, to, be, to be looked just like a, it's, you know, a small thing right and yeah it's just a donation you know hey he's stuck in trinidad he needs some funds to pay the lawyers and to pay and the and whatever you know so people go there to fund okay and was that the first thing no a lot of these donations have been launched by a lot of people 
uh, by a lot of YouTubers that you all know, they launch this donation stuff. And it's like, like a, a culture right now for any YouTuber can launch donations uh, to say maybe they need help. And this, uh, they get a lot of money. And that does not go straight to that uh, claim that they put on, on the, or on the, what? On public, like this is what we, we need to do with the money. Right. So, long story short, long story short, let's go back to the receipt. Let's see uh, some of these things that are revolving around Christmas list and why could he be a scammer? First receipt, and y'all, welcome so much who are inside the house. One, let's talk about this. So tell me more. Uh, you asked the question, why do you lie and say you're not rich? Because I'm not rich. <laughs> That's why. Rich means you have money in the bank account. I have very little money in the bank account. You probably have more money than I have. But that being said, give me a year or two more on YouTube and then that number will change. My goal is wealth, but right now I don't have it. Listen, people think money lasts a long time. I was making very good money three years ago. You know, everything stopped during COVID. I'm on a different path to happiness. Once you hit an age like me, money and wealth is not the goal, the motivation. So, man, I'm working very hard to become rich and wealthy. But right now, at this moment, I have no problem in telling you that is not the case. I show you what YouTube makes. I've showed it. I'll show it again and again. Uh, what, what more can I say? Okay. People think I'm rich, but listen, I used to be rich and having a lot of money like three years ago, okay? You used to make a lot of money like three years ago, right? From what channels? From which sources? An ad sold just for kicks and associations? Um, promotion of these brands and gangster raps? Uh, association with this uh, Cruise, street crews, promotion of them, their their brands and their whatever they sell. Yes, that's exactly what he was making money from. And he said that one disappeared, and he's living a completely different life. What happened? Yeah, let's go back to some years back and see um, what is happening in his platform called Enards World. And how many, how many people have been scammed by this Anad's world? First of all, let's check Anad's world. Um, what is it? What does it do? And who are people who are running this? And how is Chris um, responsible for what is being claimed outside here that a lot of people have been scammed? Well, let me understand. Uh -huh. um, to show you something. Uh, as you join, let me know your, where you're watching from. Uh -huh. And leave a comment down there as I'm opening my stuff, you know, how to make a presentation. <laughs> Now it is. I can see comments are dropping. Uh, let me know what you're thinking. Mm. There we go. So these are some of the comments that I bumped on in one of the Christmas list videos uh, of the other channel called Anad's World. And if I take you through the comments, uh, people are really complaining. You know, uh, I'm going to show you a few comments and go back before we come back to talk about the comments and people who are launching these claims. And uh, you see the comments, you can see them in hasty. These all are claims. These are all fraud scams and, you know, scamming claims. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to come back to talk about them just in a second. Um, let me first go back to the Nards world 
uh, that is Christmas list platform. And want to see what it really means. Okay. So I didn't want to hope to open the the free website. I just wanted to I took some screenshots that I'm gonna talk about. It's uh, the real uh, recent screenshots. You can go and check. It. Uh, in the meantime, let me see who is in the house. Uh, uh, let me say hello to these people. Inez, Charles, how you doing? Good morning, JT. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's uh, 2.57 p.m. here in South Africa. How you doing? Uh, no Christmas, listen. Uh, I'm Aaron, a corn artist and a shoe salesman walks into a bar. Uh, the bartender says, what can I get you, Mr. Hughes? <laughs> All right. Good morning, JT and Dave. How are you doing? Listen. Uh, welcome so much. Happy Friday, y'all. Happy Friday. Welcome so much. Mm -hmm. 7.48 a.m. in the U.S., JD. Oh, it's 2.58 p.m. here in East Africa. Welcome so much. Good morning from Toronto, Canada. Oh, good morning from the Christmas list homeland. <laughs> Today we're here to talk about your fellow citizen who is doing a lot of wonders and amazing stuff here to take people's money uh -huh. trinidad perfect income free oh i am in trini and yes christmas list is now looking like a scammer not like he is looking like i'm gonna prove that he is really a big scammer uh, what more can i say ah uh, you cannot say nothing bro because you are a scammer who are you <laughs> Uh, my music, how you doing? My goal is wealth. Goal is wealth? That also is said. Uh huh. Watching from Trinidad, how you doing? Welcome so much, Evelyn Prince. Uh, Kemi, how you doing? Good morning from Chicago. Ah, welcome so much. Inez, Kemi Clouds, are you saying hi to, him, to her? Uh, it is 7.57 a.m. Mon how? Montel? Mon how? I don't know how to pronounce some names. You'll bear with me. I'm a village boy. Montreal, Canada. Oh, say hi. Say hi to Chris. Oh, he's not there yet. But yeah. Blessed. Uh, how you doing, Kemi Cloud? Welcome so much. I must say hello to a few people. Dark National, happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. Mm -hmm. Mary Moore, how you doing? Trini, residing in New York City. How you doing? Uh, how is everyone? Thank you so much for everyone who is here. It's 8 o'clock in Trinidad. Okay, it's 3 o'clock p.m. here in East Africa. So let's quickly check this uh, thing called An Ads World by Christmas List. This is the leading, the leading scammer of the season. Uh, this has taken a lot of people's hard-earned man, hard money and people are claiming to be scammed by this site called An Ads World. Right. So I'm going to point a few stuff that this site do or does and we're going to show you what people have to say about this what about this site okay let me check it mm -hmm. sorry and now um, here is the Anad's world you can see it right here uh, on it, there's this tab called About, their services, their causes, their mentoring, blog, contact, and his, uh, the social media platforms linked to this Anad's world. This is one of the Christmas list uh, foundation, an online thing, an online platform that he claims uh, is a digital platform that offers a variety of goods and services. And uh, uh, a lot of people have been victims of scams from this thing called an ads world. Okay, so if we check uh, it's about, uh, here's the about, yeah, you can see how the readings here, I'm not gonna read everything, but I'm gonna show you, if you got time, you can still go back and pause and read. Uh, but here, the first sentence goes like, we are fearless group of nerds that love take, taking on challenges. <laughs> With collaboration at our core, we are ready to work with you to handcraft winning web 
solution. We Excel are listening, then acting on your needs to deliver a successful logo design, web design and development and SEO. Our team of Toronto expert is equipped with knowledge, experience and passion needed to get the job done and are poised to deliver a wide range of web design and development services. You can see it's family owned and operated. Family owned means Christmas list is the head of this thing with his wife. Okay, Grace, I think. It's Chris and Grace, you can see it here. Uh, let me expand it. You can see it's Chris and Grace. The Nuts world. Oh yeah, so there it is. Chris is here holding a, an analog camera. I don't know if this is a camera. This is Chris, this is his wife Grace. And this is an ads world, one of the leading scamming uh, thing. You can read through what they have to say here. And why they say why an ads world, right? Why an ads world? Uh, we are an experienced and passionate team of professionals that live and breathe web design um, and development, logo design and S SEO. All our services are offered in-house and are integrated to ex exceed your business requirements. We are pioneer in presenting genuine and in inventive web design, web development and research engine optimization resolution in slicing, adaptive and uh, simulation and customization services. You can see they say it's authentic, 100% in-house and the good reputation. Let me talk about this reputation for a second. Uh, they say our reputation and integrity is everything. We follow through on what we say we are going to do. Credibly, credibility can only be built over time, and it's uh, and it, it is built from the history of our world and action. After thousands of projects, we are proud of our reputation of success. A very absurd thing here and ironic thing talking about your reputation and from this anads world your reputation is coming out very shitty and people are really claiming scams from this so I'm really wondering what are these reputation talking about so they went ahead and published a few uh, testimonials here um, of actually anonymous people, the faces of people who nobody know about them and they say these are the people who have benefited from these kind of things and from what I know these are just um, scams and these are how they do. Uh, look at this, oh, this is the gallery of them behind the scenes of, okay, so this is what they do. Tell me if anyone knows uh, any person from, this, uh, from these people who are working here. So. Uh, Mm, probably this could be uh, college students or maybe some random people in a meetup. They didn't know that they could be used in a web, uh, maybe to talk about an ads world. Uh, but here you can see the, the pictures as you can see them. Uh, so they say frequently asked questions. They're here. What does the, the world nerd represent? You can go ahead and check. What, how long have you been in business? Mm -hmm. Who do you work with? Do you work with local businesses only? What has led you to work in this industry? What makes you different? Check our YouTube. The YouTube, I'm going to give you a, uh, a view on that. So let's check about the courses offered in this nuts world and how these things have scammed a lot of people. So he said, I want to see you succeed in life plus business. Okay? This is the thing. I'm excited to share with you the knowledge that I have gained over 15 plus years of running a successful web design business and studying search engine optimization. So sometimes people may see Christmas list and think that this is just a random YouTuber like Ayamara that only know how to operate a camera and record videos and upload to YouTube. No, this gentleman has a lot of uh, things that he's been doing, including web designing. That is a very crucial, uh, exp how can I say? Um, skill that maybe a few people know. So a web design and who been working uh, for like in these platforms who can develop webs and can optimize things like this. So he's so knowledgeable. You may, you, you may look at him and think like he's just a, a regular normal YouTuber tourist. No. This Christmas list really understand his assignment and he, he knows exactly what he's doing and when he go to do these vulnerable people and they'll uh, 
the low class people, he know exactly why he faces these people because yo, you cannot face other web designers and maybe challenge them with your uh, your thing and maybe because of your reputation, you got these people who really uh, don't even bother to go and check what is your reputation over years. So a lot of people in Trinidad don't really even understand who Christmas List is. They see him, oh, this is just uh, like another prime minister from a, a different planet. Oh, they celebrate him. Do you really know what he's been doing? Do you know what are his businesses that are running under Cape? And do you know how he operates? That's the biggest question that maybe Trinidad people need to ask themselves. So uh, let me show you something. Uh, the courses in this thing, uh, this scam of an ad's world, uh, they say ultimate CEO uh, training course. Now uh -huh. they build a successful web design business CEO sellers course. Those are type of courses. Uh -huh. uh, how to sell, where to sell, current promos and discount. Okay, so this is uh, the general of this contact information and everything. Let's talk about the testimonials. People who maybe are giving feedback about this. Of course, consider them to be uh, completely. Uh, anonymous and maybe not true because according to this that they published on their website that these people are talking about how incredible this thing is working 100% like professionalism, quality, resp uh, responsi responsiveness, value, all those like given five stars, you know, uh -huh, bringing my vision to reality, all these and people who, these kind of names that you, you see here like someone from uh, Conquest, Lam Anas Ahmed, all, all these people, nobody knows them, all right? These are the people that they just threw to this platform to make it valid. And trust you me, none of them exist. So talking about this kind of um, feedback, let's go back to his video uh, on, on the nerds world uh, and see what people are talking about this nerds world. And his, first, uh, his video that I'm going to feature here, uh, when he talks about his nerds world, and the comments down the video will prove uh, these are the reviews to be null and void, and these were just for for the sake of hosting our web and maybe selling what they have to sell. So let me take you through that video so that you can see the comments down below. So this was the video. Today's video, I'm going to give you my 10 most important factors for ranking your website in 2023 and beyond. <laughs> I am back, back at it like a crack addict, overly energized and still on my watermelon diet. Feels good, feels good to be back. In today's video, I'm gonna go over my 10 most important, oh, that was unscripted. I I'm trying to film today's video. Okay, <laughs> in today's video, I'm gonna go over the 10 most important ranking factors. Got my computer ready, I'm ready, motivated, knowledgeable. Let's jump into this. Number one keyword research so if you asked me and people often ask me chris what is the first step with seo like where do i actually begin well keyword research and keyword putting together or preparing a keyword list so uh for those that are new chris what the f is a keyword list well it's a list literally of words that you want to rank for on your website so rather than going in uh blindly and just choosing words which you could do like hey let me write down some words on a paper we use tools so very quickly there are three options i'm going to uh talk to you about okay um let me see a commentary that perfect income freedom uh you're saying i asked him why he didn't leave he said to me they told him he can't leave, but he came out live on media saying he can leave now, which was two weeks ago, and I asked him yesterday, he is here to use us. Of course, yes, trust me, that is the case. Um, let me show you, uh, after that video that he is teaching people, uh, well, I don't know, ACQ optimization and all that, um, trust me, go back to the, these are now the, uh, I consider this to be like the valid reviews, the valid review. Leave alone those that he published on his website for the sake of selling. These are the valid reviews. Talk about the replies on that, uh, on that post. Someone said here, I'm sorry to do this, but don't buy from this guy. I purchased the web design business course and they never ma messaged me back or anything. 
Now I'm out of $125. I emailed them six plus times and waited a few weeks. You listen to this. There's another here. Now he is in trouble in Trinidad, Karma, two weeks ago. Actually, this person published this four months ago. All right. So these are now the no the uh, valid reviews that I'm gonna use. Or maybe I try to use this to show you the reality of these scams. Okay, leave alone those that he published on his website, maybe to make it good for selling. Look at these reviews. Those are kind of comments. Check another one. Uh -huh. Someone say, damn, they are down bad scammers world. They are not world. Scammers world. These people are scammers. That's what people are saying. Check another comment. Well, I guess karma catched up this scammer. I, the little Caribbean island, oh, in the little Caribbean uh, island Trinidad, I didn't realize he scammed so many people. Jesus, let the scammer stay where he is. That is, that is tribution for all the scamming he did. And someone said there, yeah. So, these are people who are really uh, talking about what Chris did, like he scammed them, right? And you can see it for yourself before you say I'm a lazy gang and I talk baselessly. Check this. Here's another comment. Here's another comment on that video that he's trying to sell ago. Actually, this is a video from his other channel. Uh, for your information, Chris has a lot of channels. One called Christmas List with the highest subscribers. Another one called Christmas Academy. And another one called Anad's World. Remember, Anad's World is his uh, foundation. So he runs it. So he teaches people a lot of those courses and web designing stuff in that Anad's World. That's where I play the video from. So these are the comments that are dropping there. And trust you me, 90% of those comments, 99, let me say 99% of the comments are complaints. People are complaining that Chris has scammed us, right? So this is the comment that I'm going to show you uh, real quick as we move. Well, I guess uh, this person said that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You saw that? Uh, there's another comment down here. Let me expand it. Uh, this person is saying, uh, so Chris has a new venture a new travel vlog channel called Christmas List with over 250,000 subscribers. I guess this was posted way back, three months ago, you can see, uh, when he was at 250 subscribers, 250,000. And right now he's at 330 something K. So that's a sharp rise, you can see that. And he changed, he quickly shifted from these scams and changed another part. That's why he was explaining in that video, say he was wealthy, he was making a lot of money like three years ago. It's normal right now. What happened? Because a lot of claims in this uh, field of his came, uh, came out saying he scammed them and he saw his reputation going. So he quickly had to shift his career to travel vlogs. So you see, this person is wondering, like, so Chris has a new venture, a new travel vlog channel called Christmas List with over 250k subs. I asked him on a live stream if he was still involved with the causes. He responded, anyone that asks about my previous businesses from years ago, I will block. I will be blocked, right? I am world traveler now. You see this? This is so hilarious. Like, Chris doesn't want to talk about his previous businesses. Oh, let me challenge you. Go to one of his live streams. Ask him about the Anad's world and the Just for Kicks, those fashion brands he was pushing. Ask him about the claims of scams people are saying. Is he really running those, um, those businesses? And what is happening to those people who are claiming to be scammed? He will never answer you that thing uh, straightly. He will either block you or maybe silence you or maybe send a lot of people to attack you on the comment section or maybe remove that comment immediately, okay? As you can see here, uh, he say, if you ask him uh, about his previous businesses from years ago, you get blocked. That's all he said. So it's clear, it's clear he's dishonest and dealing finally caught up with him and he had uh, to let a nerd's world fold and run away. He scammed a lot of his stuff too. It seems a trash human. You see this? So these are people, you can think that this was 
published after he was arrested. No, this is three months ago, three months ago before he was in Trinidad. So these people actually got scammed with this gentleman, uh, his, his whatever, his site, all right? And you can see for yourself, here's another comment. He once said he got beat up as kid. Now we call, now we can all see why. Yet another YouTuber scam. Uh, I can't really find that uh, receipt where he said he was beat up like a kid, but I have a receipt where he said he was once raided by police. So do you know how many, uh, how many taxman's calls or maybe alerts do you need to uh, ignore for police to come and raid your house and take your property? So possibly he been scamming people and maybe avoiding paying taxes and all that. He was raided by police. Uh, if you want that, I can bring it here. So uh, I'm still talking about the comments and how people are testifying that have been scammed by this gentleman. See another comment. In the same, same video, two months ago, you can see, this guy is traveling the world on his new channel with Yale's, uh, with Yale's money. Love my house. Jesus Christ. That is shady. Uh, the new channel is called Christmas List. Yeah, this person is telling people. Uh, I was going to order your calls before I saw the comments. Why are so many people saying you scammed them? And why aren't you assisting? He can never answer to that question. Trust you me, he will never. A bunch of comments. This was posted six months ago. A comment on that video that he was trying to sell his course and maybe teach people, you know, how he does. I signed up at the beginning of the year. Had two calls and then they ghosted me and now the entire website is shut down. Refund? <laughs> Someone answered there and said, looks like something is going on there. Talk to your credit card provider. Because maybe if you submitted your credit card details and maybe your personal details to that scam web and now they have your details, please contact your bank uh, providers to make sure that your funds are safe. You might be washed. That's a very uh, risky thing to do, especially to these people like Christmas List who runs these shady websites. I look at this, it was posted, I don't know when, uh, I, had, uh, I didn't capture the whole thing, but I guess it's four months ago. I bought the course four days ago. Four days ago, it's been like six months. I bought the course four days ago and I haven't received it either. I have other comments from people who also haven't received the calls. I tried to communicate via email provided in the receipt but have gotten no response. I have questioned of, mm -hmm. let me push it back up. I have requested a refund and still no response. Are you still in business? I really like the info but can't move forward with no communication. You see that? This is like four, let me see, like four months ago and someone had to come here 11 days ago to reply to that and tell. So he's still ranking in the money on his scam business, saying he's a millionaire. Now he is in Trinidad using GoFundMe, another scam. You feel this? I'm talking, I will still talk about the GoFundMe and other, uh, uh, and other donation channels that are purely scams, purely scams. So these are the people who are uh, claiming that they've been scammed by Chris on his Nerds World website, claiming that he's selling them something uh, like a course or something. Okay, you see, this is three months ago. I bought two of his courses. I don't know what this date have to mean. I received uh, access to one of them uh, on 12th May 2023 after emailing them a couple of times. They apologized and said, they were having a technical issue. I've been watching his content for some time. I don't think he's coming, people, but something is up for sure. Hope he's right. Okay. This, this person didn't actually believe that Chris could be a scammer. So Chris and his team have been scamming them and maybe uh, sometimes one in a million, they email random people and say, hey, we apologize, our system is down and stuff and stuff. But hey, where's the money? The money's gone. No refund, no nothing, all right? Someone had to 
uh, reply there one month ago and say, it's funny you believe that. He doesn't care regardless of initial intention. If someone had integrity, they would make right with the people he was wronged. He has wronged, even if it means losing time and money. But he doesn't care. Trust me, he doesn't care about none of those claims. And try to ask him on his live stream. He will block you. Your comment will be deleted immediately. But I'm wondering if Chris ha has access to this channel of him, an ad word, and he doesn't care about the reputation. People are throwing a lot of comments here. I guess he will need to pull down this video because it's dangerous for his business. Uh, people are really exposing him and his shady business. Uh -huh. Look here. Hey, Chris, I've tried emailing you. This person is talking to Chris four months ago. Hey, Chris, I have tried emailing you for uh, emailing you guys for the SEO course I bought almost two weeks ago. I was hoping to hear back from you guys. Still today, no response, no nothing whatsoever. That's another scam. Check here. Seven months ago. Seven months ago. I bought the course five days ago and still haven't received it. Please get back to me. Nobody got back to that person. Money is gone. Now, let me say, up to now, like I've displayed more than 10 people claiming to be scammed. Uh, now let's make a quick math. For example, uh, each person was um, buying this course for $150 times 10 people so far. How much is this man making from just these people that, are, that accessed the YouTube to comment? What about the people who didn't have the access to this platform to come and give feedbacks? What about the people who decided to keep quiet? So it's a bunch of people mm, losing money to Christmas list and his company, his scamming companies. So these are kind of people. Ah, there's a reply there. I'm waiting to hear back from the team as well. I bought my course a month ago. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Ah. This is Chris. His channel, An Ads, An Ads World. He was trying to sell a course. Uh, check your that, uh, reply to that comment. Someone told them to check their spam folder. Why would you check a spam folder if the website is legit and it should come to your inbox, in your mailbox? Why should you go to the spam folder? Maybe you need to go and check. But he said, no, they are not, respond uh, they are not responding to my emails. Try calling. Mm -hmm. uh, someone asked, do you have a phone number to call? I tried calling the number online and my phone call won't go through. Clearly, the number provided there is purely scam and is not going through. Someone said here, uh, I purchased, this is one month ago, I purchased the SLO calls back in February and haven't heard back from them. What has come? Chris, what are you doing in Trinidad right now? I don't know. If Trinidad people really understand who this gentleman is, I don't think they will praise him like a king. Like he say he's celebrated and people are looking at him like a, a, a hero, a king. I don't know. They really don't know. Maybe they will. I signed up for the, uh, for the web design course. It says it will send me login info within 48 hours. But realistically, how long until I get the login info? This was nine months ago. And for the first time, I've seen Chris replying here. Christmas, through his uh, uh, channel called Nerds World, replied to this and said, if you signed up over the weekend, you will receive it tomorrow morning. If you signed up last week, please check your bulk or spam folder. Why? Because the course and the website is so shady, all right? Depending on your setting, it may have landed there. <laughs> it may have landed there. All right. Okay, I'm going to go quick. I'm going to go real quick. Another one here. Uh-huh. No, nothing is in the spams. He replied. Uh, almost two months now, no reply. I calmly waited too long. Please refund. Chris will never refund. Has anyone created a police report for the money lost? No, nobody. But they've been scammed. Trust me. They've been scammed. There's a comment there. An ad world. Hey, Chris, why won't you honor your obligation to past customers of your business? An ad world. You think Chris is 
<laughs> Chris doesn't care about that. Look at this. Four months ago, another person. So these are not the lazy gang people who you call, oh, this a lazy gang. They are all here trashing Christmas list uh, uh, name and maybe making him look bad and maybe trashing his business. No. Okay. This someone here called, uh, I don't know his name, four months ago, he said, I bought your calls uh, weeks ago and no response or login information from you. I need my money back as soon as possible. You've been scammed. <laughs> I love this person called Pebbles. Pebbles, you got scammed. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. I feel so bad for them. Purchased, purchased the SEO calls two weeks ago. No response. Uh huh. You see this. I'm going to go a little bit faster now because I need to jump to another part. Uh huh. Never got access to my SEO calls. SEO calls. Has anyone filed a, report, a police report? Uh, wow, I see a few of us got scammed. This is another person who got, got scammed. Oh, did you file a police? Ah, this person are asking a lot of questions. Oh, oh another comment here. Seven months ago, um, let me bring it up here. I wrote a comment yesterday, and it looked like someone deleted it. Who is that? Christmas list, actually. I purchased your web design business course on October 23rd, 2023. And to this day, I still have no access either respond to my email that uh, I sent you a few days ago or given me a refund, please. And thanks. I'm, there, I'm so sorry that you are scammed and trust me, no, no refund is going to be made. Uh, same exact issue with me. Maybe the date is probably the same. Bro, you've been scammed. Just normalize that. Mm -hmm. You do have, uh, end up getting eventually. I signed up for the SEO calls a week ago before seeing I have received nothing and can't reach them anywhere. Bro, this is crazy. A lot of this, a bunch, but I'm going to go to a few of them before I jump to the next thing. It's taking too long now. I didn't. They emailed me back after I left Google reviews and YouTube comment saying we would like to give you your free call for troubles such a joke if you go to google reviews and try to re to to leave a review a negative review on that site they will quickly reach you out and try to silence you and hey uh, don't don't leave that we will get back to you uh, but, but if you just say i am scammed and everything they wouldn't bother so some people actually went ahead to go and leave a Google review and a negative review. I sent you a request for a quote on new website in August. No reply. You working again? <laughs> Sorry, you've been scammed. Another one here, seven months ago. Uh, you know, this is actually Christmas list. You can see him there. And this is his channel called An Ad's Word, uh, where he's talking about, he's selling his calls and in the comment section, 99% of the comments are complaints. I purchased your web design course, the business one, but I still, to date, have no access to my, you, bro, actually you can read that on your own. So this is an ad's world. You can see Chris showcasing his expensive lifestyle there uh, with a yellow car there. I don't know if this is what uh, Dimango called Ram Lamborghinis. Yeah, I guess it is. Dimango. Where are you? Come and see your master here. <laughs> see the powerful quotes from Chris. Don't wait for the perfect moment. Just get started. All right? See me. See me in that yellow car. I've made it. Read Chris' success story in the caption. The Christmas list success that will drive you to go and buy that course, hoping to buy a Lamborghini like him, and you end up being scammed. So crazy. It is what it is. Okay. Uh, so uh, some of the people who are really pushing Chris scams are his friends. The one person called here, you can see him. <laughs> here he is, Kamakashi. I'm going to talk a little bit about this later, maybe on another episode, about his connection to these people and how they helping him push his garbage stuff to the public. And you see, uh, they've been tag they, they are tagging Chris Brand here, Anad's World. And you know, if you know who uh, this person is called 
Kamakashi Jews, this, mm, this musician, and you know what they're dealing with, you will know uh, what it means here. All right, so um, that was an ad's world, actually. Um, so that was an ad's world, one of the biggest scams of Christmas list. And you can see a lot of people who are talking about how they've been victims of these scams. So it's not always about lazy gang, about reactors creating stories from here and there. You can see the reviews. Leave alone the, re the reviews that you see on the website that he's throwing here uh, um, a bunch of reviews that, hey, this is 100% uh, working, you know, uh, uh, the one in a million, uh, Mimi, I don't know what. Yo. Um, listen up. I've got a problem with my my system. My software just crashed out, crashed down. I don't know. Um, so um, they can't kill me, bro. Trust in me. I'm still alive. Nobody can kill me. As I, I guess Chris is trying to send some interference signal to my system uh, because I'm exposing him. So trust in me. I'm here to stay. And so I'm going to go on for a few minutes because I have a problem with my system. Um, but really, uh, I'm really going to expose a lot of these scams and I'm not going to stop. So let me show you something uh, real quick in the next two, three minutes before we end the live stream. Sorry for that uh, part that I had to go on blue screen. I'm going to need to go back and chop that part. Uh, um, sorry. Just like that, I'm back. Yeah. Uh huh. Thank you all for who are inside here. So, let me show you something real quick uh, that you all need to see before we move on. Mm -hmm. um, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh huh. Uh, I hope you're inside the house. Mm -hmm. And so, let's check something here real quick. Uh, real quick. I'm gonna show you something real quick here. Uh hmm, just a second, because uh, this thing of mine is lagging a lot. Uh, we're going to go to another part, uh, another scam site of Chris called Just For Kicks. This is a fashion brand that Chris is running. Uh, I can see my system is down. Actually, doesn't want to open this site. I uh, don't know. I'm going to try to reload it. If it opens, we're good. Uh, if it doesn't, then I'm going to show you a few. As we go, <laughs> I got a lot of screens here, Kemi. Uh, they cannot take me down, bro. I'm prepared like so much here. Oi. Okay, so let me show you something here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just open a new, new window here. Uh, to show you something called rip off reports. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rip off reports. That you're gonna see a lot of claims, a lot of complaints that Chris has scammed the people. Christmas list and his just for kicks fashion brand. They scammed a lot of people who are coming here to complain about, oh Jesus Christ, my system is not working. I don't know who is <laughs> sending some signal here. But trust you me, a lot. Let me show you in form of pictures because the site it is not working. The site is not working. So I'm gonna close the tabs and show you the the pictures I took. Um, I I'm gonna show you the pictures I took. At least to show you what I got to show you. 
because they're gonna they're not gonna stop me from doing this uh, <laughs> trust me they're not mm -hmm. okay so in the meantime you all tell me if you have any report if you have any kind of scam case if you been a victim of this thing just drop a uh, comment there tell us how you got scammed by these people it's not necessarily sure uh, i'm here pamela you're not seeing me i'm here uh, i think you can see me i'm here i'm here let me show you something i need to show you real quick let me show you something here real quick Oh, no. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know when the system shut down, I was disorganized. I have to reorganize my stuff, you know, and see what I gotta show you. Yeah, it's uh, about here. Mm -hmm. Forward through back screen. I'm here. Um, I can see you. You can see me. You can see me. Hope you can do. Um. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me show you something here. There we go. I found it. <laughs> I found it. I found it. Uh. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Let me actually take it to another screen here and show full screen and show you that. A few stuff, then we call it another episode. Can you see it? I hope you do. So this is one of the uh, scam site that christmas is running it's called just for kicks just for kicks uh it's a fashion brand a clothing brand that chris was running i don't know with who's associated it's chris hughes and orlando smile these are the peop people who are running this call this thing called just for kicks.com and as i showed you in another screen um there have been uh let me show you what that means Let me show you who are there. Mm. A second, I'm gonna take uh, a little bit, mainly because I have to present some receipts. Uh, this is what we call just for kicks. It's here. Just for kicks, it's here. This is the website. Uh, just for kicks, you can see it. It's a fashion brand, actually. You can find a soccer ball, jacket, hoodies, the de uh, denies, scarves, blankets, uh, jersey, caps, you know, all of this, all of this and more. So this is a fashion brand run by Chris and other associates. And from these fashion kicks, um, fa just for kicks fashion brand, a lot and a bunch of people have been scammed by this fashion brand. And they file reports and fraud reports uh, talking about how Chris have frauded them and how they've been scammed by this thing. Uh, this is one of them. I'm going to go through a few before we end. Uh, just for kicks.com, wild play, ripoff, scammer, liar, thieves, fraudulent, Chris Hughes, president of scam, never received item, cannot contact Toronto or Ontario. They said, I had purchased a pair of sneakers from justforkicks.com on December 15, 2004, and never received my item. 2004, where were you? Chris was still in the game, was already in the game, scamming people from this point, 2004, uh, December 15. Chris Hughes and Orlando Ismail, they were here scamming people from 2004, and now here it is 2024 in uh trinidad and tobago and people are cheering him up and like oh 
this person is like a superhero. He is here to give us a voice. I mean, are you really serious? 2004 is like 18 years down the line that this young man was in the streets, scamming people, taking their money, and not delivering what he promised in the website. All right? So he said, uh, uh, they, I never received that. Uh -huh. uh, said, no, how they responded to my numerous attempts of information through email, phone number that they that you listed on the website has a voicemail pickup and then the message says the mailbox is full please hang up feel that no do you have a website anymore i have tried i've been trying to contact them for weeks and i've gotten no response they have taken my money and never intended to send the item try to contact seller by means of email uh, with no response try to call seller voicemail pick up and say my you see that no website available i ordered a pair of 13 black jordans bro uh-huh this was my hard-earned money that you stole from me and was supposed to be a christmas gift for my 13 year old child in which he's still expecting to arrive it's been 18 plus years it's been 18 years and this person is still waiting for the uh for the <laughs> for the pairs of jordan that he ordered or he ordered for the kid and they still not delivered so you're there trusting chris that he's there to give you a voice but he's there purposely to make his money and if he, f he says an opportunity to scam you trinidad people he will never hesitate to leave that chance he will scam every one of you and take your money and leave and trust you me he has launched a, a gofundme on instagram it's the link there there's a link on youtube a gofundme so tell me what that link means if not a scam i'm going to talk about the uh, the funding scams in a second but take a some of this there's a bunch of people this person was is called alexandra from new york city usa you see that so he said uh i am trying everything in my power to see that these scammers do not get away with this the names of this individual at justforkicks.com are Chris Hughes and Orlando Ismail. They are liars and cheats. Also, call Wellplay to, re to report this. Not they were any help. Uh, maybe they will stop taking payments for these crooks and report this money. And you know what? They make connection. These people take the money. Uh, they send some to Chris and you never get anything. Is there another report here? Just for kicks.com, Chris Hughes ripoff paid for an item never received, items or money or money back. Not able to contact anyone that works there, Toronto, Ontario. They said ordered sneakers from just for kicks.com, aka Chris Hughes, ordered a pair of black and white Air Force, Air Force Ones, AF Ones, I think it is Air Force One, if I'm not wrong. They, so, uh, they sure took the money quickly. However, never received my item. When I tried to contact them, all I got was voicemail, full, email address no longer valid. I look at the website now, and they don't even sell Air Force One anymore. <laughs> they don't sell them. Okay? Now they tell you it's out of stock, and the item is no longer sold there. Fraud, 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 fraud. Larry, from Staten Island, New York City, USA. Bro. Bro, I don't know what to tell. I don't know what to say next. Hope you did see that. I, yeah, I just hope you did see that. Yeah. I hope you did see that. So let me show you another thing that I'm gonna you to. I'm gonna need you to see before I end what I have to show you for today. Uh, another, um, another thing. Another thing. Mm. Just a second. Just a second, as you tell me, what are your thoughts? Uh, let me see if I can find what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, are you still in? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here uh okay 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 you see i have a bunch of screens so i have to look for any from screen to screen 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 
and see what I got to see. Mm. Now, okay, let me see the last. Let me see the last one. Mm, the last one. Okay, I'm gonna open another last one. Um, I hope it loads. Just hope it loads. Yeah. By Chris, of course. Uh, it was saved here uh, November 11th, 2020. Um, 19th, November 2013 to 11 machine. You can go and check it October 21, 2013 actually uh, so this is one of the pro projects that uh in form of uh in form of funds that they plea people to fund and send money and uh, in form of i may be trying to help people but they again the Yeah, I'm still in, so you'll bear with me because my thing is acting up like the whole time. <laughs> but trust you me, I'm gonna show you this. I must. Like, I really must show you what I have to show you because, hey, Christmas cannot scam people and get away with it. You all need to see that. I must show you that. Trust me, even if it takes a decade, I must show you that. Here's the screen. Just see this. Okay, this is a project called Project of Love. It was launched a long time ago uh, with Chris and a lot of people. They say they went to Cuba and they saw how people were living pathetic life there. They launched a donation channel. Uh, people are sending a lot of people a lot of money, and they say they are uh, targeting a hundred thousand US dollars to fund people and maybe to help this whatever. You can see the project details are here. Uh, project of love all of this uh, road trips, you know uh, Everything listed here, but I'm gonna go straight to where it explained how this happened uh, You can read through it like this is a project of love say hang uh, you know all of this garbage stuff uh, How he say on my first day in Cuba. I found myself wandering through a very poor village uh, a camera in hand taking photograph. This is a bunch of story that Chris creates here to get you emotionally uh, Maybe you know convinced and send a lot of people a lot of money. Uh, I say uh, um, Such as okay, he said um, I told her take he contacted his wife and tell her a lot he needed 5,000 US dollars. He purchased like this happened because Chris would have published this. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you can see, I'm going to take you down to that article and show you what uh, this gentleman is doing. Okay, so he said, uh, the last part here said, uh, it is health that is real wealth. It is health that is real wealth and not prices of gold and silver. You can see what he's saying, but in the first video he says uh, his wealth is, uh, his gold is wealth, I don't know what he said. But you see, uh, he says here, food, water, and basic supply are, are one part of the mission. Love is the other. Uh, that very love is what motivates us, well, it was motivates one human being to reach out to another in, in need, okay? We may not be able to touch the lives of everyone on earth, but the ripple effect caused by love itself uh, and by the dreams therein can truly begin to change the world as we know it. 
So the question is, how many people have Chris helped with this kind of donations? Check out the donation itself here. It's called, it is with all of this in mind that we are heading back to Santiago, San, uh, Santiago, I don't know, Santiago de Cuba. All right. We are heading back to Santiago de Cuba, November 11th, along with ANW manager, Orlando and Okay, this network was misbehaved, but you know, I'm gonna finish this. Uh, so this is what they are planning to collect, all right? 300, I don't know. Supply, having been previously as a sim card what 